Hi, good people. My name is Rachel Heath. I'm a traveler, writer, podcaster, teacher, and coach. But most importantly, I'm the current guest editor for Yellow Arrow Journal. Yellow Arrow Journal is produced by Yellow Arrow Publishing, which supports and inspires writers identify, identifying as women through publication and access to literary arts. And Yellow Arrow recognizes that women's voices have historically been underrepresented in literature and aims to elevate those voices and stories through their programs and publications. And the publication that I worked on is volume seven, number two of Yellow Arrow Journal, which is titled Peregrine. So Peregrine is an exploration of the migrant nature of language and the internal and external journeys that are a part of this human experience. And you can reserve your copy of Peregrine by going to yellowarrowpublishing.com backslash store. And today I'm not by myself. I have the pleasure of chatting with our cover artist uh, for Peregrine, Daryl Newman. Um, as we do with all submissions, our covers go through a blind review. And after our review team went through all of the art submissions, we still hadn't quite found the one that we thought really fit. But there was a piece that stood out to our team. And to my delight, it was your piece, Daryl. <laughs> and we're actually really good friends. So that makes it even more joyful for me. Um, and while we didn't go with your original submission, you were kind enough to send us some other samples of your work. And within that grouping was our cover image, which I fell in love with upon first sight, I will admit. Um, I think it really encompasses the feeling of this issue. Um, so... I can't tell you how excited I am to talk to you. I have told you how excited I am to have your artwork on the cover. Um, and I would love for you to just tell everyone a little bit about yourself. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Yellow Arrow. Um, this is quite an honor. Um, I, about me, I'm an, an artist curator. Um, I am currently living in Australia. I was born in New Zealand, but I uh, immigrated to Australia when I was 10. Um, I've had a love of art and all things creative uh, since well before I can remember, since I went um, on a little pottery journey with my mother into the middle of a forest and saw a potter doing his things. And I fell in love with, you know, with all the shelves full of artworks ready to be fired and the processes involved. And I think it's been instilled in me since then. Um, and I've come and gone out of different phases of my life and have engaged academically as well as um, creatively and just recently completed my Masters of Curating. So um, I'm still in the world loving all things art. It's what I love the most. Absolutely. And congratulations on that. I remember when you were going through the process with that degree. So it's so wonderful that you've made it to that level in your career and you're also still producing art. You're not just curating. So mm -hmm. when you think about yourself as an artist like how would you describe the art that you do to someone who's never seen your work before yeah I, I guess um I'm a mixed media artist I'd like to say I'm I focus mainly in one area but I don't it's um very much mixed media um I start with the concept and idea um I like to paint and sketch it out and then combine you know found objects and um collage items to create something and once once I begin it it takes on a life of its own and then often it's external influences that kind of guide the the final product and how would you say because a, a big part of this issue Peregrine is is thinking about language and how we communicate with each other the things that we're able to say the things that we're not able to say and and how do you see art as as a vehicle as a language of expression yeah. Absolutely. Um, for me, it ha um, it's always been a, a means for me to express myself, to give myself voice that I wouldn't otherwise have, and also to engage politically, uh, personally, and, and, and across ge geographical boundaries. Um, I, th I think it is an absolutely a, a language that, um, that is accessible to most. Um, and once it's out there, it's up for interpretation by, by whoever sees it, views it, or engages with it. But for me, there's always there's always a very high start, whether it's something I'm processing mentally, whether it's something that I'm going through personally in my life or externally, or if there's something I wanted to engage through um, on a 
a, a historic or political level. Absolutely, I, it is a, it is a mean of, means of communication, without a doubt. Yeah, yeah, and I think that you know I've I've been with you <laughs> through a bit of your art journey, and what I love about your work is it communicates so beautifully the role of women in the world, yeah. and that's a really big component of what the work that Yellow Arrow does. And I'm wondering if you could maybe talk a little bit more about that aspect of your work. Well, for me, um, women have, I'm, I'm, I'm looking very clearly at this artwork I have on the wall. So I keep looking up at it because there's a series I'm doing right now. And it, and, it, and every one of the series is a, is a combination of the various women um, that have come in and out of my life. I'm I have amazing uh, women contacts, women friends, women support group, and I think it is a powerful sisterhood that we have to absolutely embrace and encourage and explore. Um, I am not who I am without the women that surround me. You were one of them. I have met phenomenal women along the time along my time, and every single piece of my artwork that I have ever produced um, channels a woman that I understand or know, or that I'm getting to know, or that I uh, want to tell a story about, or that um, has influenced me in some way, um, or has guided me, or has healed me, or has, has, you know, has uplifted me, or has grounded me. So uh, there isn't, I don't know a single piece of artwork that I that I have done, and I'm, I'm really trying to wrap my brain to see if there's anything that isn't, um, that hasn't been connected to the female body or the female personality or the women that surround me. Um, I'm a big believer in supporting other women. Um, and I have a huge amount of women that I would like to honor in my lifetime or pay homage to. So um, absolutely, I, you know, I'm, I'm fully, fully supportive. And, you know, I certainly wouldn't be the person I am today without um, the support of my girlfriends. And, you know, those women, those people I know happen to raise my daughters. Um, and shape them also so I you know this is a, my ever all my artists big thank you and a big shout out to them to you yeah yeah and you have two amazing daughters I don't, I don't know if you mentioned when you um, introduced yourself that you're a mom um, and I I'm also wondering you know the world that you're creating for your daughters for them as women you know what is that what is that process for you as a mother like sitting at your table and, and creating these very strong female figures yeah. yeah look I think when you when you're when you become a parent you become uh oh maybe sometimes a hypocrite you want to tell them how to be how to live to guide them but you can't always live that yourself um and and so I think um, through my art and through raising the girls, I have tried to either introduce them to women that I admire or that have um, that have the qualities that I would like to instill in them, um, or I have tried through my art to tell them stories about myself that sometimes words don't always convey. Um, but it is it is super important for women to look forwards and backwards to see, you know, see where they've come and who helps support them to get there, um, to make choices along the way of who they do and don't want to be, um, and to look forward into what their future with their young daughters. I was raised with with um, with girls and I've only ever had girls, so I only know girls, but I know the power that I have to be able to affect them and I, I, I am not always... Um, I'm not always on the same page as them, either through an age difference or because I have a role in their life and sometimes it's not as a friend, it's a mother or vice versa. As a role model, I can't always live up to the role model that I'd like them to be or that I'd like myself to be. Um, and so I ask them to look at other women when I can't be whatever it is I think they need or want or should have. Um, and then sometimes through my art, I try to bring out in myself the woman that I'd like to be. Yeah, oh, I love that so much. And and I know that the piece you originally sent us was called um, Three Women Warriors, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did rename that as uh, Meet Me, My Army. Um, okay. Because originally, you know, I th there are times in your life where you go through some things and I have been going through them lately. Um, and so I was trying to win that particular piece, which was three very strong women. 
I was trying to show um, the parts of me that I needed to move through a difficult situation, the parts of me that I was ready to face other people with um, and arm myself for and the beauty of the women's body who can take on so much and still keep going and still keep surviving. Um, so that was that original piece. The piece that we that you had ended up uh, deciding on was kind of the opposite of that. It was me making peace, I, the, the part of me that was didn't have to explain to anybody, that was not going to apologise, that was perfectly content to be my own self, in my own body, in my own um, sense of peace and creation and, and a, a, an earthly part of me that wants to connect with the ocean, the, 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 the sand and the air and the mountains that grounds me in something so much bigger than myself that um, that, that, is, that is a peaceful place to be. And I, that's what that final piece that you have that is on the cover is all about. It's, it's, it's kind of going full circle. It's finding that, that, that inner peace to know that you're okay just the way you are. Oh, I, I, I love that we got to that moment because I felt that when I saw it. And I feel like so much of the writing in this issue, I, I use the word reclaiming when I, I talk about the, the pieces that are in this issue. Folks in this in their writing are reclaiming their identities. They're reclaiming their bodies. They're reclaiming their names. They're reclaiming their language. They're reclaiming relationships. Mm -hmm. And when I saw that, I saw that mm -hmm. peace mm -hmm. and that it's not even acceptance. It's really just a presence of self. Yes. It's a moving past the need for any of that acceptance and just being able to just sit in bliss with who you yes. are. That's um, exactly what it was. Mm -hmm. So I'm so <laughs> glad we got that one. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm so glad you chose that piece too because I, I feel like that first piece was quite aggressive and that the second piece was was where I wanted to be and where I was, you know, where I was. But it is... It is really nice to be okay, even when you're not, and just go, it's all right. It's okay. I'm okay. And I don't need to say anything. You know, it's exactly. enough. I'm saying enough just being. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, I I feel very close to this this idea of Peregrine because I, I lived it. I chose it. I've been, you know, working through all of these um pieces of writing that that fit in into that idea of you know the traveler and and yeah. reclaiming home and identity but I'm wondering you know when when you think about that idea of peregrine what comes up for you well it, it it's it, it is absolutely the journey so you know a we've traveled I've you know I've met you in various um countries um um, it is the travel, and I think traveling happens in uh, multiverses. So you know, there's the there's the geographical actual travel, you know, and the experiences that that comes across that comes with. You know, I was born in New Zealand. I was raised in Australia. I've traveled around the world. I, I visited the RMI for very for many years. I've you know, in and out of other countries. Um, but there's also the also the met metaphysical, like so. You know, what we go through from birth to death. Um, how we traverse our emotions and our connections and our, you know, ourselves. Um, there's the words we choose to describe ourselves or the way we choose to uh, verbalise or communicate with other people. Um, and those, those are very conscious choices. Um, and I think sometimes we're very much in control of them and sometimes we're not. And when we're not, those are the moments we can learn. Um, and, and so, um, for me, you know, being, being a traveler, being a creator, um, it's, for me, it's all about growth. It's all about, you know, it's, it's not about anybody else. It's about my growth. It's about the way I connect with the world and where I want to go with the world and, you know, how I interact with the world and, and, um, and I can only hope that as I'm traveling and, and growing and learning that I'm doing better for all the people that I know and love. Um, and so um, it's kind of like a, a really cool, you know, virus in a way. Like I hope we all, it's a hope it's a little bit contagious that, you know, um, 
learning and growth and developing and journey is something that we can pass on happily to somebody um, and and they can pass it back to us and you know we're, we're a better world for it so um, that's my process of the paragon I guess I I can't add anything to that <laughs> I think that you 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 really hit the nail on the head with the whole journey and and that internal and external the metaphysical and the the literal I mean it's that's exactly what I was hoping that this yeah. issue would do and and I think it does and and I think that I think one but one bounces off the other like you can't have one without the other and they will constantly either butt heads or connect like you know either magnets of some sort you know um, yes yeah and what's beautiful is that we have our creative outlets to explore those juxtapositions and explore those journeys and and I'm just excited for everyone to get their hands on this issue because I think it does a really great job of those explorations and and seeing how we can confront our physical our metaphysical and how we're yeah. all kind of migrants in a way and I have to thank you too, Ray, because I, 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 you know, not only are we friends, but I follow you. So some of the things that that you put out to, you know, the social media world resonates and it doesn't just resonate with me. You know, when I see something that I think is really cool that you've put down there, I send it off to my daughters. So, you know, it, it, you know, it is it is a continual growth. And and I love what you do. I love watching what who you are becoming and what you're doing and your growth as well. And um, I, you know how do you you know I am so blessed to have you in my life and to have so many phenomenal women you know I just think the world's a much better place I agree and I, I follow you too and I've absolutely loved watching your journey and I love when you post your artwork because I find it very empowering and you know I think it's beautiful that we have these kinds of platforms that are for people who identify as women to be able to really talk about the experience of being in this particular, you know, human experience. And, and I think you do it so well. So, you know, I reflect that back to you. <laughs> Thank you. I do. I am hoping that through some of my art, it creates a bit of a safe space. And there's lots of things in my life that I would love to speak to. And sometimes I'm not brave enough to, and one day I may, but my art does. So yeah. I am really grateful to have any, um, platform that will allow me to speak um, or to show or to to be seen you know it's gorgeous thank you absolutely and and to that note what are you working on right now do you have any projects in the works um, I have I have a couple of series you know um, I'm kind of flitting between states at the moment um, so I have different areas of my art that I create depending on where I am I have one at the moment that's um, about uh, about uh, the women in my life who are born in particular months of the year and in, um, and so I'm creating these me metaphysical beings that kind of embody the people the the women that I know that from that particular month or that you know star sign whatever you like to to call it um, and it's not about the star star sign and it's not about you know it, it's it's about uh, connecting with the things that I love about particular women or admire or want want to be want to show or talk to and, you know, creating, you know, an artwork from it. So that's one thing I'm doing. And the other one is um, just smaller pieces um, that are, are, are not a fast creator. I'm, I am I create over time. So I'm, I'm purposely trying to push myself to create quicker so that my brain doesn't get mixed up in everything, that it can stay focused for shorter times. Um, so I'm creating smaller pieces. Um, and your piece that you took on for the for the artwork there uh, was one of those pieces that I went, okay, I'm, I'm in this moment. What am I going to do with it? Let's get it out there. So I got it out there. Um, and I couldn't be prouder of that piece because it wasn't, I didn't overthink it. Um, I, it was a purely a gut reaction. Um, and and so I think that's the other the other work I'm working on. Um, and in the meantime, I'm, you know, I'm just raising girls and getting by. Yeah, I, I love that that was one of those kind of quick sit down, I'm going to do it pieces. I've had poems come out like that and, and they get published. And I'm like, maybe I shouldn't uh, work so hard. <laughs> I, I 
God, no, you absolutely should. You absolutely should because there's there's those, I mean, that's just, we're not one dimensional. How many layers do we have to our personality? So it's nice to express this part of your personality here and this part of your personality there. And, and for me, that's what that artwork was. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the same, like this, the piece that's behind me took years, you know, but there's a piece that I created for you. And, and it was such a, a I, I keep saying earthly, but I was so grounded in the absolute moment that I was in, that it, it was just a pure joy to make. And it is a pure joy to look at. And I can see that. So I understand completely why you chose it. Um, because yeah, it, it does, it embodies that whole feeling, that emotion. Uh, it, to yeah. it totally translated. When I saw it, it just, it took my breath away, <laughs> to be honest with you. I was like, <gasps> <laughs> this one. And, and of course, you know, I I edited the issue and I curated the issue, but I, I work with the Yellow Arrow team. So I was like, this is the one I love, but maybe I shouldn't love it so much just in case other folks don't love it as much, but they did too. <laughs> so it worked out. <laughs> that's, that, isn't that the scariest part of being a creator is putting it out there, like putting it out there and just wondering who's going to love it, who's going to hate it. I have had somebody fall in love with a piece of artwork until I told them my intention. And they went, oh, no, that's a little bit too political for me. Wow. And they backed out of it. And I was, and they fell in love with the artwork, and it was a very prominent um, governmental person that you know should have been the one promoting such such an intention. Um, so it was, it, you know, once you put something out in the world, it's up to somebody else to interpret or to to love or hate it. So I'm very glad that they that that Yellow Arrow and yourself in particular loved that that piece. Thank you. Oh, we absolutely did. And where can people find more of your artwork? Um, I've just, I've got, uh, my Instagram, which is, uh, Daryl, she, Daryl underscore, underscore, she floats. Um, that's probably the easiest way to get in contact with me. Um, I'm, I think my website is just about to shut down and I'm going to be re, uh, wiring it and putting it up again very shortly. Um, but for the moment, I think the easiest way is through, um, Instagram, Daryl, she floats. Um, and I think that's that's probably uh, the best way to get in contact with me. Awesome. Thank yeah. You. So we'll make sure we we tag you <laughs> so that people can find you because I I love your work. I, I know I, I say this to you a lot. We've known I don't even know how long we've known each oh other. My goodness. Um, probably at least 10 years now. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I love your work and I love the journey that you've been on. And I I, I feel empowered as a woman when I see the work that you do and so thank you it is, it is incredibly mutual. mutual thank you <laughs> well we will end this love fest go out and buy Peregrine you will love the cover art if nothing else but I'm sure you will love everything else that's in the edition and big thanks to Yellow Arrow for supporting women creators this is a beautiful space and we want to make sure that it continues to thrive